and welcome to part four of Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. Or Crash 4, whatever you want to call it. So now we are in the second area, which is the water mask. So let's get to it. Crash Bandicoot, you've got some nerve setting foot into my domain without an invitation. Don't talk back to me! I'll fix that attitude problem of yours! So, this one is called Jungle Rumble, but the water mask. Right, I've heard that voice actor before. I don't know where from, but I can picture... It's in my head, but uh, just in the comments section below, just just tell me what you think it's from because I, I just I can't place it. But he does sound like he was a drill sergeant or something like that, so who knows? Right, this level, I, I, I'm going to be completely honest, guys. I tried to pre-record this and I lost my shit on this level because there are two bits in it which are absolute pain in the neck. One of them is the bonus stage, which you wouldn't have thought. This bonus stage is actually meant to be the easiest area because you don't lose any lives. But Jesus Christ, do you lose your mind? Oh. So we've got these little pygmy tribe guys, which are just spinning there dead. They also seem to just fire their spears in one direction, which is kind of weird, but you know. Anyway, this isn't the stage where I lost it. It's the next stage as well. Oh. If there's one thing I, I do not like in games, I won't moan about it too much, but backtracking. Oh, and some of these stages you have to backtrack through because it, you miss a couple of boxes and then you've got to go through the whole stage again to try and find it. Right, let's try and get up here. Okay. God damn it. Let's try again. There we go. Oh no! I did it again! Oh! You know what? I've done exactly the same as what I did before. Great. <laughs> I wish I'd learn. Jump cut. Right. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, that... I don't know why, but I keep doing that. It's when you're trying to do the high jump, which you've got to crouch and then jump like that. Sometimes it will trigger the belly flop, and it's really annoying when it happens, because it means you've got to start all over again, because you need to get that one poxy box. But if I had the double jump ability, it'd be better, but eh, I don't get that till, I think, the end of this boss, or maybe the next one, I'm not too sure. Like I said, I haven't played this in a very long time, so my memory's a bit fuzzy on it. Oh, but there was me thinking uh, when I was recording this the first time. I was like, oh, this is actually quite an easy level. No, there's actually a section in this I remember absolutely hating, and it's coming up just after this bonus stage. Which, uh, this is the other thing which I lost my shit on. But hopefully this time I won't actually lose my shit. But I will introduce it the same as what I did before. So, this is the bonus stage. We all know what happens. I need to get 49 crates. Or boxes, whatever you want to call them. Right, there is a section on this. You have to use the sneak hippie dizzy and oh my god, oh my god, oh. Oh, I need to stop talking sometimes, but I can't stop talking because I need to entertain you guys. Right, so sneak, L2, hold it, do not let go, do not jump, do not do anything, otherwise nitrogen will kill you. And you just jump on this, boom, that's done, quite literally, boom. Right. Don't worry if you don't get this. You can easily get it like that, or you can just do the high jump. There you go. Always go back to make sure that you have got the nitrogen or the TNT. Otherwise, if you do not hit the TNT box, then unfortunately, it 
it won't explode and then you miss one crate. And that's how you do that. You meant to slide for it, but I always panic on that sort of bit, so I just do it like that. Oh boy. Do, do. These boxes always take five hits, as you've seen in my previous playthroughs. Right, there we go. Okay, that was not as bad as last time. I died about six times last time. Oh, oh, I really was not feeling it that day. Right, so this bit, you need to run away from this herd. But you also need to get these crates at the same time. Some crates, though, they hit, so it's not as bad. Like there, I missed one, but it's fine. There we go. Okay. That's that bit done. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, it hit it, so that's cool. Right, now this bit, there's two here, which can be a pain, so I'll get them. And then just as you're coming out of this tunnel, you'll see one right here. There we go. And then that should be all the crates that you need to worry about. The only thing you need to worry about now is the nitrogen, which is everywhere. So don't speed up on this bit. Just slalom all through this bit and you should be fine. There we go. I'm actually doing a lot better than last time. Oh my god, I really lost my mind last time. So these two crates here and there we go. That is the end of that stage. And of course, the nitrogen. Boom! There's the gem. Sexy as it is. There we go. Nice and easy. Now for the next stage. Oh boy. Seashell shenanigans. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the stage I lost my shit on. Because there is a part in this where you go into a vehicle. And once you go past that bit, you can't get any more crates. So you've got to make sure that you get all the crates from there. Because if you don't, then you're not getting the gem. That's probably what happened. They're the two crates I missed from before. Let's hope to God that's the case. So you've got a crash fish here, and you'll hear a noise in a minute. Which is that. That's a lovely device there. It will kill you the minute it hits you. So... Be careful. Always have masks as well, because um, having masks is a very good thing. Oh, god damn it. No! Oh! <laughs> I'm trying to take my device here. It's not working. Oh, gotcha. Right, so I've got to work, watch out for that. Okay, I'm just going to double check here just in case. Right, there's definitely no crates there, and there's definitely none there. Okay. I reckon it was those two, which I just hit just a second ago. The rest of this should be smooth sailings. When you come out of one of these bits, always check left and right. Because there might be some crates at the other side. I've learned that from a previous playthrough of... Crash Bandicoot Warped, which is basically what this is taken from. It's just like I said, it's more of a, it's more, it's a Crash 3 game, but HD remastered. That's what it feels like to me. Uh, there's a few changes, obviously there's a couple bits of mechanics which are different. But other than that, it's not too bad. Still one of my favourite Crash games ever. Oh, uh, the more I compliment it, the more it seems to want to kill me. Fantastic. Yeet. Yeet. Oh. Oh. oh, that's not fair. Oh.
Let's try that again, shall we? Right, this time I know there's that fish. There we go, sod you fish. Die you big chin fish. No idea why it's got a big chin. Cartoon effect, I guess. Anyway, uh, no, oof. Uh, nope. There we go. Brilliant. Right. Okay. I am hoping now I have got all the crates. So glad I did a play uh, a playthrough of this beforehand. Because it's gone a lot better this time. Why do I keep doing this to myself? <laughs> Right, let's try that again. Oh my god, what is going on with me? Every time I compliment myself, I fuck up. It's so annoying. Oh. <laughs> Why? Oh. Okay, this time I'm going to be more careful. I was careful before, but. Jesus, you know what, no, sod you, I'm not hitting you, fish. You have lost your privileges of dying to me. You can survive and live your life as a fish. See, I could end it, I could end your life, and you could be reincarnated to something else, like, I don't know, a baboon or a cat, but no, I'll let you just swim around mindlessly for the rest of your life. Oh dear. No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Ing. Okay, that's it. But now I'm in this thing now. That's it. That's the checkpoint. Now I can't go back. So if I have missed any crates, too bad. I don't know why he wasn't hitting me beforehand, but whatever. And this thing is so goddamn slow. Okay, uh, just a note now. I, I think you guys may have figured this one out, but I hate the water levels. Like, really badly hate these water levels. Because your movement is so strict. And shit like that happens! Right, let's try that again, shall we? This time the mine is going to hit me. Of course it bloody is. No, 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 no. Oh. You know what? I should really just swim up. Because then I can see where the mines are. This strategy seems good to me. I think I might go for it. And then just pray that these depth charges actually hit anything underneath. Right, okay. I believe there's nitrogen in this area, so... I'm just going to drop a load of charges. I are smart! Okay. Checkpoint that way. Yeah, okay, I know that way's the ending. So, this way there must be something else because uh, there's a mine there. Nope. That was just false. You tricked me. How dare you? Right, the depth charges are used here. There we go. Sod you fish. Die fish. I've had enough of you. Doing all your fishy things. Right, okay. I am hoping. Oh, shit. 
right, okay, 91. Okay, please, please, please tell me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! You see why um, I'd lose my shit in this stage the first time? It's just, it's slow, it's annoying, and it involves backtracking if you forget crates. But this time, like I said, I think I've been a bit more thorough. So hopefully, this won't be a problem. Right. Come on, you stupid mines. God damn. Padding. No, there's one more. A trick mine. A mine. To show me that I am actually not safe. And now. Okay. 94. Right. So where's the... Okay, please. Yes! Okay, that's fine. I can forgive it now. The fact that I can actually get the gem and get the hell out of this bloody area. Oh. Well... That was a stress-inducing part now, wasn't it, guys? Oh, God. So that's it for this part, guys. I will see you in the next part. See ya!